Hey, I'm here to talk about buildings in Train Station 2. I had a question on uh, one of my YouTube videos asking me to talk about uh, buildings and why I only have five buildings on my city. So here goes. What do you need buildings for? Buildings bring you population. So the more buildings you have and the more they grow, the bigger this number gets. And this number here at the top is your population. And after you get to a certain level, you can increase the size of your warehouse. Warehouse is very important in this game because you have to manage the amount of materials you have. And the bigger the warehouse you have, the better. So what I find is a lot of players don't spend a lot of time in the beginning of the game expanding their warehouse. And then they get their warehouse full and they get kind of stuck. So it's important to level up these buildings as much as you can so that you can expand your warehouse. So how do you level it up? Well, at four, there's always four of them at a time that won't, that are eligible to be upgraded. See, I have four big red X's here saying that I can't upgrade any of them. And if you click on any of them, what you'll see is the materials that you need to upgrade it. So this one needs 32 chairs. It needs 19 blue plans and two yellow plans. So I don't have enough chairs, so I can't upgrade it. Now, the other things to see here is I could spend four gems to upgrade it. Really don't do that. Not a good use of gems. And this thing here tells me that I'm at level two in this Christmas palace. And if when I upgrade, I'm going to get five more population. So that's what it tells me. Five more population if I do this upgrade. All right. And then I'll click on the X here. So plans is another thing we'll talk about. Might as well talk about it now. There are three different kinds of plans. And you'll see them here. There's blue, yellow, and red. And you'll see that I have a lot of yellow, quite a few red, and hardly any blue. Most people are the same way in this game. You end up with not very many blue, and you're always starving for blue. How do you get more plans? Well, um, one way is to for the ship, when it comes down here at the dock, if you manage to get Captain Greedy, the all the materials that he wants, you get you usually get some plans. And uh, so that's what the main way of getting plans. And then if you're in events, you can get plans. So for example, we're currently in the Global Logistics Challenge. And if you look at the rewards track here, you can see there's blue plans here that I've already got. There's yellow plans here that I already got. And you keep going, there's some more reds. And then scroll along farther, there'll be some more blues and so on. So you get, uh, you get plans in events as well. So uh, my advice to you, hoard your plans. Do not spend them needlessly. So, for example, here this guy wants 19 plans for 5 population. Not a good deal. So there's this trash can here. You can use this trash can to basically say, I don't want to do this job. Throw it away and give me another one. So let's look at all my other jobs that it wants me to do. This one here wants me 25 plans to give me 11. This one here wants 50 plans to give me 15. That's ridiculous. This one doesn't want any plans. This is great. You want these guys that don't want any plans. And this one doesn't want, can't be upgraded. So this guy here wants 50 plans. No, thank you. I'll click that and I'll discard the city task. So what happens is it goes away and then the it goes to one of the other buildings that is eligible to be upgraded. And it's this one. And this one wants 45 plans, which is also ridiculous. So I can throw it away again, but I have to play a video, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to make you wait through an ad. But... Um, you can do it twice and then you have to wait for those things to recharge before you can throw them away. Throw the more jobs away. Do not be afraid to throw these jobs away. I encourage you to, anytime you see them, they need too many plans. Like, uh, like this one, 25 plans is a lot. This one, 19 plans, not so bad, but still. Um, use that trash can always if you, if you don't like the plan. Don't like the job, get another one. So... Uh, try to hoard those plans, do not blow them. And you'll find that after you, after you uh, throw away a number of jobs, they'll start giving you jobs like this one, where there's no plans required. And those are great, because then you can just have to go and get the materials or manufacture the materials and upgrade your building. So you want this kind of stuff. You really don't want to use plans if you, don't, if you can't, if you can avoid it. Uh, I don't mind using yellow red plans anytime, because I have tons of them, but blue plans are scarce. Uh, what else? So, why do I have only five buildings? 
Well, uh, there's a theory on the Train Station 2 info sharing Facebook group about the five, five building rule. The basic idea of it is you always have four in progress. So anytime I, I finish a job or I reject a job, I know what building it's going to go to next. It has to go to this building because it's the only building left. These two buildings are, I should say this, these two buildings here are fully upgraded. They're at level 10. They're at the end of level 10. They're fully upgraded. They can't be upgraded anymore. Same with this one. Level 10, they gave me 1,290 population. Cannot do any more, anything more with them. So I don't mind leaving them on the map because uh, they can't be upgraded anymore. But here, if I finish one of these four jobs, this guy is going to be the next one. So anytime I want to trade him out, for example, I say, oh, level 8, maybe I want to put him away. I hit this one over here. He goes into the goes into the, the bag and I can pull another one out of inventory here in the building shop. So say I want to pick out a low level one. Let's sc scroll along see, here, see if I can find a nice low level one. Uh, how about this guy, business center? I'll take him out and I'll place him right here. So now he'll be the next one to be upgraded. And um, what I like to do is I like to have a mix of low and high level buildings. I don't really have any low level buildings anymore, to be honest. But like level four is about the lowest I have. So, um, but I try to have a mix of them because the low level ones are uh, easier to upgrade. And that's why I have the five building plans because I know I can concentrate on just a few buildings to upgrade them quickly. And it seems, the game seems to encourage you to do that and give you, it, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's just uh, superstitious, but it seems like it's easier to upgrade when there's only five. So that's why I do it. I always know which ones are going to be upgraded. And I don't have to keep hunting all over also for who, who's the next one to be upgraded. They're always right here. Um, the other thing I'll mention is that there are three types of buildings. There's a basic building, advanced building, and a superior building. So a basic building, these are basic buildings, like a decorative park, uh, a school, condominium, and shopping center. Those are basic buildings. You don't, each level does it gives you the lowest number of population. So for example, this one here at level 10 is 1290 for a basic. Uh, advanced level 10 is 2214, so almost twice as much population. And a superior level 10 is 3382, almost triple uh, basic. So for example, this one here is a business center. It's a it's a, uh, hmm, I don't know what that is. I guess that's an advanced. At a 380, that is a superior building. So that's a superior building. This one here is luxury apartments. That is an advanced building. So I'm at level 10. It's going to give me 2214 when it's finished. I'm almost done. Uh, just this one, and then you can see there's just a little bit sliver left. A couple more upgrades, and that one's done. Um, this one here, a car dealership, is... Uh, a superior building and it's level 8 it's already at 1881 so at level 8 it is has way more population than these guys these basic buildings are that are done so the that's uh, the three types of buildings any event buildings you get are going to be superiors like the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that they're all they're all uh, superior buildings so that's uh, a lightning introduction to buildings um, I encourage you to spend time upgrading these. And in fact, I would encourage you a lot of times to not worry too much about upgrading your level. Spend some time upgrading these instead. So uh, I'm in my game, when I started out, I was grinding experience points and trying to level up as much as I can uh, and kind of overran my warehouse capacity. So I encourage you to take your time up leveling up and instead spend time growing these guys so that you can make your warehouse bigger and bigger. It's like my warehouse right now at level 517 or whatever I'm at is 7800 so I rarely run out of space I have a huge warehouse there's people who have bigger warehouses than me for sure but I, I hardly ever run out of space I have lots of space so I can keep hundreds of these guys around and uh, and uh, not really run out of space one more thing a little tip nothing to do with buildings but another tip to for warehouses you see all my factories down here they all have stuff in them when you finish something leave it here and don't 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 empty it out of here and put it in your warehouse. This is like extra space. So I have like a little landing strip of the warehouse. The, each factory has their own stuff in it, completed stuff. So I can just pull that off. And as soon as I pull it off, I make another one. And then that way I keep all these things ready so that when I get a job and it's, it needs uh, 200 coaches, 
our 500 coaches. You know, I've already got, I've got 232 in my warehouse, but I've got another 240 right here. So I have almost 500 coaches on hand. So this is a really good tip. Do not empty these things out. Leave them here and keep them out of your warehouse so you have more space in your warehouse for raw materials. That's about it. Um, hope this helps you play the game. I'm going to get back to playing the event here because i got a bunch of trains sitting around doing nothing and that's no good. So thanks for watching and uh, like my video, leave a comment, tell me how you liked it and uh, have fun playing the game.